the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. And our coverage tonight will be coming to you from Milwaukee, where the Bucks will be going up against the Charlotte. To look at our setting tonight, the picturesque city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. Last game for the Hornets, they picked up the W against the Wizards. And, and I know the defense wasn't great, but yet and still, their ability to stay composed was impressive. Well, it, it led to a big scoring effort, taking advantage of every weakness. So any possession the defense wasn't aggressive on, they were on the offensive end. And before we get going, let's hear from David Aldridge down on the sideline. David? Well, guys, Giannis Adentacumpo is the Bucks' first. And the Bucks just won title back in 1971. D.A., thank you. Some incredible athletes in this one. Brent, defensively, what does it take to stay in front of somebody who's got that kind of explosive ability? For me, a small prayer. Uh, <laughs> for, other, for other guys, it's knowing time, space, distance to make uh -huh. sure that you can collect anybody's first move. As you know, Kevin, you can't be thinking out there. If you're caught Ladies thinking, gentlemen. especially defensively, Ladies. you get to read the back of the jersey of the guy you're guarding quite often. Can't happen here tonight. And it can take your mind off of the other things you've got to do. Well, yeah, that, and, and then you're always using one key phrase, which coaches talk about in practice. Yeah. Help. Oh, yeah. I, I need help. Help. <laughs> so let's take a look at the Charlotte starting lineup. Batuma's out there with Marvin Williams. Then it's Jeremy Lamb. And there's Kemba Walker, and it's the Beast in at the center position. Greg, it's hard to imagine that one year ago, AI wasn't even in the NBA. Now he's an important part of this team. Uh, the improvement he's shown from that first pressure pack game, it, it's been remarkable. He's always showed potential, but where he is now with his impact is beyond what anyone could have expected. Back to Walker. Parked down low that time, and he got the three-second goal. Now Bledsoe, he's coming off a 13-point game against Indiana. Eliasova, a screen. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Outside Batum, the pass to the Beast. And he banks in the layup. And an efficient start here offensively, working it inside for the easy two. For Milwaukee, they've gone one of three from the field to start this one so far. Bledsoe kicks to Honda de Kumbo. Back to Bledsoe. Lopez a screen. And Bledsoe, here we go. The kick out to Honda de Kumbo. Just two to shoot. No good on the three. And it's the Hornets ball. Walker the pass to the Beast. Here's Batum. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. Well, the Bucks. this is a franchise that for a long time just was treading water and, and chasing after a seventh or an eighth seed on the back end of the Eastern Conference playoffs. Not so much anymore with Giannis Antetokounmpo leading the charge. The opportunity for the Bucks to do some damage in the playoffs is here. Walker dishes to Lamb. Lopez with the steal. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Middleton right now staying aware of where his teammates are and hitting them when they're open. 
A slow start for Charlotte in this one. It's a three-point game. They traveled to Milwaukee last time they faced the Bucks, and they came away with a win. Yeah, and last time they faced off, really an easy win. They put together a pretty complete game, but their edge on the glass, for me, still stands out. Yeah, they rebounded better than the U.S. economy, and that turned it into a blowout victory. They were dominant on the glass. And Brent, you look at Giannis Antetokounmpo's slashing game. Standing, what, maybe a hair under seven foot tall. How do you even put it into words? Well, it's hard to imagine a more perfect frame for today's game in terms of getting in transition, having a versatile offensive game, putting it down, getting to the rack. But the one thing that we're anxious to see is whether or not Giannis will develop the type of range from the three-point line that makes it respectable. Other than that, he's pretty much unstoppable. The base passes to Walker. To the beast. Shot clock at six. No good. Shot missing. Good D by Lopez. And that's a foul called on the beast. That is his first foul of the game. For the Milwaukee Bucks, they come in off the loss to Indiana. And no doubt that the fight was there, but no matter what they tried on that night, it just wasn't meant to be. And their troubles just seemed to get compounded as they got later into that game. They did not have it that night whatsoever, and it ended up being a double-digit loss. Bledsoe for three, and he's good on the three ball. Bledsoe's got himself on the board with three there. Pass to Lamb, picked by Williams. Batum with the ball, defended by Ilya Sova. They get it again. Second chance shot, and the rejection by Adekumbo. And Bledsoe has it in the corner. Shoots over Walker, and again, it's Milwaukee converted. Well, that can become a reliable shot for Bledsoe getting to the mid-range and a little separation. That can help. Picked by Williams, and Batum kicks to Williams. Lamb passes to the Beast. Looking to end the run. Good D by Lopez. Wonderful defense, staying active around the rim and then really putting the shooter in a tough spot. He gives them a double-digit lead. And it's six points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Starting to surge here, and we're only in the first quarter. And I'm loving what I'm seeing, the passion that they're playing with up and down the floor. So Charlotte calls timeout. They're first. Teams are trying to finish the season, Brent, with some energy. The reduction of back-to-backs has obviously helped uh, make that a reality. Well, Adam Silver deserves a ton of credit for approaching the schedule change the way he has the past couple of seasons. Thinking about the quality of the game. Yeah, because it is. The quality of the product to make sure that your star players can play as many games as possible. And it's still extremely difficult for those guys to get up for 82 games. They still need their rest. But at least the league has addressed it. The league has given more opportunities for guys to find quality rest in between competition. And hopefully we'll see more players have health. We've not seen that translate into health, but I hope it happens this season. Me too. Brogdon, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Zeller's checked in. Hornets trail by nine. Passes it to Lamb. Here's the beast. Rebound, Milwaukee. I give the defense a C-plus on that possession, but still, I'm sure he's upset he missed. Kumbo with the ball. He had a 27-point outing in the last game against Indiana. Well, I think he was especially impressive on the glass. The defense had no idea what to do with him. And really, the, the ceiling for Kumbo is limitless. I mean, he has the potential to be a Hall of Famer one day. A different look for Milwaukee. Tyler Zeller comes in for Brooke Lopez. And John Henson subbed in for Ilya Sova. Charlotte also making some changes. Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Batum. Monk comes in for Jeremy Lamb. And Parker subbed in for Walker. Now Bledsoe after the missed three from Malik Monk. Bledsoe left side. 
He kicks to Henson. Picked by Zeller. And it's Anadokumbo penetrating. Not a piece of it. Parker right side to the middle. The Beast. At the top of the key, Monk. And there's the pass to Parker. They get a hand on it. And the foul on Eric Bledsoe. That is his first foul of the game. JR. Walker the pass to the Beast. And here in the second quarter of action with a hair under two and a half minutes played so far. And forcing the miss there. He just knows how to pressure you defensively. You hear a lot about rim protection. This is a good example of how valuable it can be. They've got Bloodsoe. Eliasova out there with J.R. Smith. Then it's Brooke Lopez. And it's Middleton in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. From the sideline, let's catch up with Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Thanks, Kevin. The beast in the last matchup against the Wizards was tremendous. He finished with 60 points, and as he always seems to do, piled up rebound after rebound. When you look at the stat sheet, he was mind-blowing. It's hard to imagine he can follow it up tonight with that same level of production. Kevin, we'll see. All right, David, thanks. He lifted his game to an unreal level that night. Yeah, he showed how dangerous he is when he's at his best. And man, he'd love to keep that hot streak going here tonight. Would you guys be surprised if he doesn't keep it going? I mean, the only way to follow up a game like that is with an even better one. Here's Bledsoe. Back to the basket by Charlotte. Elias Hova, a screen. And Middleton kicks to Bledsoe. Lopez sets a screen for Bloodsoe. Stolen by Walker. It's three on three on the fast break. Good on that shot. And with that, the Bucks lead is cut down to eight on the bucket from Williams. And they are very comfortable running their offense through Walker. And you can see why. Drops a sick dime right there. That pass was right on the money. Now here's Bloodsoe. He's got seven. Pocket six. Tomb against Smith. He gets it in there. Smith's got five points in the quarter. I don't know what it is about J.R. Smith, but it seems like the percentages go up the closer the defense gets. Walker the pass to the Beast. Here's Lamb. Rebounded by the Bucks. And that was an easy one there. Just a missed opportunity. And sometimes everything can go right, but the shot doesn't go down. Nothing there is automatic. And Lopez gets it to go. He can play very well away from the basket. Lopez has the kind of range that not many seven-footers possess, and it's a great asset for a big man in today's game. Here's the beast. It's in the bucket for his fourth field goal, shooting at a four-of-nine clip. You cannot give players that kind of positioning and the defense also late in trying to alter that shot. Bledsoe kicks to Ilias over. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. That's on Marvin Williams. Aside from one recent year, we've seen plenty of coaching changes. When teams come up short, uh, do you think that position maybe gets too much blame? Probably, uh, and coaches know that's exactly what they're in store for once they sign a contract and to coach that a team. Kind of money. Yeah, all of a sudden they know that what happens on the floor, the end result is going to be whether or not I coach this team the next year and the year after and the year after. Interesting cycle of things that happens, though, Kevin, is when changes are made in a front office around the league, sometimes the managers want to put in a coach where they feel either a little bit more comfortable with or a style of basketball that they're more comfortable with. And sometimes the success on the floor for the coach has no bearing on whether or not he's going to keep his job right. because management would like to see a different product out there. So they become a victim sometimes of upper management movement and sometimes are removed from, from being the head coach. Good thoughts. And here is Lamb following the three-pointer by Chris Middleton. The Beast passes to Lamb. Here's the Beast. Lopez covering. Shoots from the elbow. 
Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just 11 on the bucket from Jeremy Lamb. Bledsoe kicks to Lopez. Screen by Smith. Middleton outside. Pass to Smith. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got five assists in the game. J.R. Smith has a quick release and can shoot it from deep, but that time a nice job off the pass. Batum wide open, he fires. And it's the Hornets, another three. And that's from beyond, guys, right back at you. Yeah, that's a nice response there, leaving a voicemail in return from the three-point line. Looks like we're seeing similar game plans right now. Now, here is Smith. Eight points for him. Middleton outside. Lopez sets a screen for Middleton. Pass to Bledsoe. From past the arc. The Hornets pull it in. The Beast's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. He sunk that three in the first, but yet to make another one. A, a tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And, and they've let things get out of hand. Good time to reconvene. They're just on the wrong end right now of a big run, and they need to plan how they're going to shift the momentum of the game. A different look for Milwaukee. Zeller, he's checked in for Ilya Sofa. And Ami Takumbo subbed in for Chris Middleton. And a switch here also for Charlotte. Zeller's checked in. And to Takumbo. And a big pounce off the rim, but it sinks right in. Ami Takumbo's got 16. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Nice work there coming off the screen. 11 points for Walker. Beautiful execution from him, building off a great first quarter, looking unstoppable here. Batum against Zanadokounmpo. Back to Bledsoe. Lopez a screen. Down low. It's tipped. It is on to Jacumbo. It's tipped. Walker the pass to the beast. Out left to the wing. Charlotte moving it around. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. Oh, that's straight TNT, baby. Uh, Explosive. That was pretty, and he just has that effortless knack for getting inside. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got seven. He dishes it to Smith. Lopez, a screen on Walker. Zeller setting the pick for Smith. Back to Bledsoe. Yes, and it's Smith with the assist that time. And that's now nine points for Eric Bledsoe. Now right now they're winning because of him. Love the shots that he's taking. And he's got the green light. Here's the beast. A shot off that time. So Milwaukee will take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Down it goes. Nice one there from Adetokounmpo. He's a hard guy to guard everywhere on the floor, but more than anywhere else, Giannis can get you in the paint. That's where he lives. Here's the beast. Terrific design on the pick play, and he lays it in. The Beast's got 10 points in the quarter. This is a guy whose mindset just never changes. Even when they're losing, he's always going to be aggressive. Here's Honda Takumbo. Hornets with the rebound. The Beast's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Mozgov, he's checked in for Milwaukee. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Smith. And that concludes the first half. Bucks ahead. They lead by six. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Okay, David, much appreciated. And now time for halftime. So Second half about to get underway, and it's been a close one so far. You look at Enetokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Yeah, great job from him in that first half of drawing fouls and getting to the line. Well, that is a great equalizer here. You want him to play that physical, but how do you do that without creating too much contact? Here's who James Borrego is starting the second half with. 
Harvey Williams is out there with the Beast. And there's Kemba Walker. That's Jeremy Lamb. And it's Batum in at the small forward position. And a wide open look for Lamb. Offline with his three. Onto Dekumbo again. Batum. Onto Dekumbo dishes the blood so. Fades and shoots. He watches it go through the hoop for his eighth make. Now eight for 14. I mean, just look at the box score right now. He's not only filling it up with these points, but in every facet of the game. Lamb passes to the Beast. And Walker kicks to Lamb. Feeds it to Walker. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And that tells the tale here today, guys. Throughout this game, they've been able to get the ball in tight and fit it. It's out of the Kumbo on the wing, defended by Batum. Baseline jumper, and the shot is long. Hornets trail by six. Here's the beast. Rebound by Elias Hover. Oh, you just relish those kind of opportunities, and the defense got lucky, but they need to guard that area of the floor a little bit better. Williams a screen. Here's the beast. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Bloodso issues to Middleton. Back to Bloodso. Lopez a screen. Knocked away. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. Great use of the pick to create room for the jumper. Lopez has got nine. I give some credit to the screen out there. That totally freed up the shooter to take advantage of that look. Williams passes to the Beast. And the layup's good off the glass. The Beast's got 19 points. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. Ilyasova against Williams. And Ilyasova kicks to Middleton. Lopez passes to out of the Kumbo. Shot clock at six. Over Batum. Down it goes. Nice one there from out of the Kumbo. 24 points for him. And they're leaning on the mid-range right now. That's six of their last ten from that area. And from everything you hear about Giannis Antetokounmpo, he keeps a laser focus. Basketball and his family are his sole preoccupations. Milwaukee leading by four. Kicks it to Ilias Hofer. There's the screen. The dish to Middleton. the Dekumbo against Batum. Six to shoot. Right side out of Dekumbo. No good with the elbow jumper. And some have even compared Giannis to Kobe Bryant for his single-minded dedication, Greg, to improvement. Yeah, you know, something of an introvert. Not a guy you'll find out on the town or schmoozing with other stars. He's content to save outside pursuits for after his playing days are done. Mark down low that time, and he got the three-second call. Henson checked in for Lopez. And a switcher also for Charlotte. Yambo, he's checked in for Jeremy Lamb. Passes to the Beast. And he converts the layup. The Beast's got 23 points. I don't know what's happening defensively, but they're not putting up any resistance. Shots good by Middleton. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. Here's the Beast. 23 points in the game. And the foul on John Henson. That's his first foul. The Bucks making a switch here. Ogden's checked in. And so it's Charlotte with it. Trailing by four. And plenty of contact on the shot. So two free throws coming up. And Milwaukee gets called for the foul. For Charlotte, they have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And it's been an average year, really, at the free throw line for this group. Only around 75%. 
The G League is testing out more ways to speed up the game. Shorter overtime periods, a 14-second shot clock after an offensive rebound. You think those are necessary things? I think they're worth trying out, Kevin. I don't know necessarily that they're necessary. Is that redundant? No, it might have like been. It. it makes <laughs> sense when you say it. But the little league always exploring ways to improve the game, and I commend Adam Silver and the competition committee for trying. Throws it down despite the man right in his face. A chance here for a three-point play. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. For Charlotte, they have been exceptional shooting free throws tonight, going nine for nine. Zeller, he's checked in for the Bucks, And then for Charlotte, Kid Gilchrist, he's checked in for Williams. Monk comes in for Nicholas Batum. And Tony Parker subbed in for Kemba Walker. That free throw good from the Beast. Milwaukee in the lead. Ogden kicks to Ana Dekumbo. Back to Brogdon. Hanson, a screen on Kid Gilchrist. Just five to shoot. For three, Brogdon. But they get it back. Middleton the pass to Ana Dekumbo. Two on the clock. And there's the feed to Henson. And stolen by Biombo. There's the pass to the Beast. That one drops for him. The Beast's got 30 points. Love his shot selection. Good at taking quality shots. Whether he's defended or open, he knows how to knock those down. A stupendous finish in traffic. And the Bucks lead by one. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. Pass to Monk. There's the pick. Here's the beast. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. No good from outside. Milwaukee's gone six of ten from three-point range, up over 50% for the ball game. Right on the bucket. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Now here's Parker. Six points for him. Here's the beast. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. He's made all six of his tries at the line so far. And 74%, yeah, you know, so-so. We probably wouldn't mind seeing it a little bit higher. Hernan Gomez has checked in for Biombo. And Malcolm Brogdon, the son of a lawyer and a college dean, no less. His maturity and thoughtfulness certainly reflect that upbringing. Now, here's Ana de Kumbo. He's got 26. Takes it from 10. That one wide left. Charlotte has gone 0 of 2 from deep to start things here in the second half. And Kid Gilchrist kicks to Parker. Here's the Beast. Plays it up off the glass. The Beast's got it all tied up now for the Hornets. The Bucks have gone 7 of 12 from the floor since coming out of the break. Pick by Zeller. Pass to Brogdon. Back to Anadokounmpo. He feeds it to Zeller. 13 feet away. Doesn't go that time. Excellent D there from the Beast. Releases. And Charlotte again with the bucket. And you've got to give them a lot of credit for just battling back into this game. Well, there's an ebb and a flow. They had a hard time earlier, but now flow. Timeout called the Bucks, And I like this timeout. You, you're getting terrible rim protection right now. Well, you got to ask your team to give you a little bit more effort because there's just not a lot of fire on the defensive end. Mozgov, he's checked in for the Bucks. I did a combo against Williams. Mozgov, a screen on Williams. Picked by Mozgov. Anadokounmpo kicks to Bledsoe from downtown. He can't hit that time. And offensively, a great show for the fans through the first three quarters. It's been a fun game to watch. Hornets lead by seven. And we're just moments away from the start of the fourth quarter. Stay with us.
And it's time now to bring you our State Farm assist of the game. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? Yeah, those are the kind of plays that you want to put on a canvas. Just beautiful basketball. Three quarters in the books, folks. Glad to have you with us. Welcome back as we get going. Charlotte leading by seven. They've got Mozgov. Malcolm Brogdon out there at Bloodsell. And then there's Antetokounmpo. And it's Lopez in at the five. That's the group for Milwaukee right now. They're getting on a roll inside. Their last three field goals have come from the paint. Mozgov passes to Bloodsell. Here's Lopez. Great defense that time from the Beast. The defensive reaction time, it was just immediate on that one. You know, sometimes the most important part of that is the angle that the defender chooses. That time, he chose wisely. Walker's shot is off. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. That's pretty encouraging stuff there. Eric Bledsoe draining the three-point shot and looking comfortable doing it. There's the pick. Walker the pass to the beast. Back to Walker. And there's the three-second violation. And a lot of fans and players interested to see how this thing all turns out. And you look at the beast. Right now he leads in the east, getting plenty of ballots with his name on it. And keep tuning in for updated results. You can visit NBA.com for more. The Bucks making a switch here. Eliasova's checked in. Eliasova a screen. And it's Ana de Kumbo penetrated. Loses his man off the screen and lays it up and in. And you know, he's really been one of the few bright spots for them trying to will this team to victory. Walker the pass to the beast. Now here's Lamb. Charlotte moving it around. Oh, taking it to the rack with power. And hammering down the two-hand slam. A little over a minute and a half of the fourth quarter gone now. Anadokounmpo kicks to Lopez. Ilyasova a screen. Williams with the steal. On the wing, Lamb. Antetokounmpo defending. Here's the beast. No good on the shot. Good D by Lopez. Bucks trail by six. A shot by Antetokounmpo. Nobody around. And a great assist by Brogdon as that one goes in. Brogdon's got three assists tonight. Passes it to Lamb. Wants to get it to Zeller and does. Ooh, that's as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And to me, this is why they're winning, guys. Unlikely players stepping up huge against a defense that's really nowhere to be found. Onto the Kumbo, no good. Hornets leading by six. Williams passes to the Beast. And there's the call on Giannis Antetokounmpo. That's his third foul of the game. And the Hornets making a change here. Batum's checked in. Walker in the corner. Williams a screen. Here's the Beast. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. The Beast's got 39. And every move he makes looks like the right one at this point. Yeah, shooting at a very high percentage right now. This one extending the lead. Now here's Bloodsoe. Iliasova is screen on Walker. And it's Bloodsoe off the drive. It's tipped. Williams passes to the Beast. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Free throw good from the beast. He's perfect from the line this time. And he's been rock solid at the free throw line tonight. A little bit of an unexpected bonus for them. Timeout called the Bucks. Did you ever think, Brent, that we'd see this many players, 6'10", 6'11", 7-footers, handling the ball and shooting like we're seeing them shoot from that kind of distance? I'm hopeful for it. I've been hopeful for it. And it doesn't surprise me about what the league is. This is a very select group of people that have the right combination of 
DNA and genetics and the fact that these guys are more and more capable with their skill set, not a surprise to me, Kevin. So fun to watch, too. My goodness. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Hey, guys. Well, Mike Budenholzer had some advice for the team during the timeout. And he was emphatic. He said, we are not going to win this game playing this way, fellas. You've got to step it up. You've got to get aggressive. And you've got to battle to get back in this thing. See if that pep top got him going, guys. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the D. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Batum against out of the Kumbo. Feeds away. And Ilya Sova throws it down. Giannis, if you talk about maturity, the next thing you're going to see is him playing with great patience. Let the play unfold and then take what the defense gives you. Here's the Beast. Collects the two-pointer near the hoop. The Beast's got 45 points. Well, he's got a baton in the right hand as he's orchestrating what's going on. A maestro, if you will. Out of the Kumbo, kicks to Lopez. Rebound by Williams. Williams has got his third rebound tonight. Lamb passes to the Beast. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Shoots over Walker. No good from Bloodsoe. Charlotte leading by 10. Outside, Walker. Inside. Here's the Beast. And he's fouled on the shot. One free throw coming up. They are just killing him on the interior. Chris Middleton's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. The free throw off from the Beast. And he's made more of an effort here to put pressure on the defense in the second half and create some contact and free throw opportunity. Williams passes to the Beast. And the rebound goes to Lopez. Lopez has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Feeds to Middleton. It's rebounded by the Beast. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Batum passes to the Beast. Picked by Williams. Here's the Beast. An easy layup after coming off the pick. The Beast's got 49 points in the game. Bucks trail by 14. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. Eliasova a screen. Lopez kicks to Adetokounmpo. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. We talk a lot about Russell Westbrook and the way that he attacks every game. I think in the Eastern Conference, Giannis Antetokounmpo might be the same way. Just tenacious and full of energy, and he fills up the stats. Charlotte calls timeout. And sometimes you just want a reminder of what our objectives are tonight. Yeah, get everyone on the same page and pointed in the right direction. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, the Beast. And what an amazing ball game we've seen from him. It's been a one-man show worth the price of admission all by itself. There wasn't anything he couldn't do on that court tonight. And as the star of this team, he knows he's going to be the object of the crowd's anger. Here's the Beast, and he gets it to go. The Beast's got 51. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Rocked in the pass to Kumbo. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It's on Nicholas Batum. Clearly a foul. That free throw, no good. And the second free throw, good. Charlotte leading by 13. The pass to Lamb. To the inside. Here's the Beast. Lopez covering. The shot's good from the Beast. Oh, they own the interior right now. Ten straight points coming from inside. Brogdon kicks to Ilias Hope. Lopez outside. Ilyasova a screen. Lopez with the ball. Now guarded by the Beast. 
They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the stripe. Yeah, the muscle of a Tentacumbo is impressive. He's just destroying the defense right now. With the prospect of making a big lead even bigger. Yeah, you got to jump at this chance. Stretch that lead out as much as possible. Here's the beast, Williams. Whistle on the play. Bucket's good. He'll go to the line. And some guys just have a nose for scoring. And this one couldn't have been any easier. Well, on the defensive end, this is a joke. The lack of awareness is exactly why this team is so far behind. Bucks have gone 6 of 13, so just above 46% on their field goal attempts here in the quarter. Timeout called the Bucks. You look at the beast, he's really been playing well. And yeah, the defense has not provided any threat to stop him out there, so it should come to no surprise that he continues to attack the basket. And the Bucks making a change here. Bloodsoe's check in. Down low, layup off the pick. And count it. He'll head to the line with a chance to make it three. Nice body control there from Chris Middleton. Stays with that even after contact. And Chris Middleton, two seasons ago, tore his hamstring completely off the bone. I mean, he's come back and hasn't missed a beat. One of the most well-rounded players you'll see. Yeah, it's a tough call, but he has to be better in avoiding contact on that play. That's his fifth foul. And one more. It'll be hitting the showers. And Chris Middleton with maybe Greg, his best season yet in 2017-18. It just seems like he gets better every year. A former second-round pick, now all-star caliber. He's worked extremely hard, stayed in the lab, and now we're seeing the results. Yeah, this team would be in some bad shape, guys, if he wasn't scoring like this right now. That's good from Adetokounmpo. And the Hornets with possession here. to the beast. And got it! Another basket! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, GA really taking it to the opposition. Let's a floater go. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Outside Batum. Passes to the Beast. Outside for Batum. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. And the miss, not the best shot selection there. And that's a foul called on the Beast. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. He will go to the line to shoot two. And he can't get the first one. Good on the second free throw. Not a perfect trip to the free throw line, but they'll take what they can get at this point. Guys, a good chance for them to slow it down. Yeah, they definitely should use some clock here. 143 left in the fourth. And he comes up with the deuce. The Beasts got 59 points. They've hardly needed anyone else today to get out to this lead. I mean, he's provided almost all of their offense. Onto Takumbo, dishes to Ilias Ova. Count that bucket. Ilias Ova's got four this quarter. It's nice to see the confidence he shows on his inside game and ability to get the shot up before the defender can do anything. The pass to the beast. Back to Walker. For the three. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got his third rebound on the night. And the wide open shot from Bledsoe. The offensive rebound. Hornets leading by 12. No question as to which team gave the better effort tonight. A dominant performance and an outstanding win for the Hornets. You know, it's tough to put your finger on the deciding factor in this one, but I'd say that the shooting accuracy made the difference. Yeah, I think you're on point, Kevin. They got better looks, and that tends to lead to a better field goal percentage. And when you look at the season for these guys, they have amassed a lot of wins, 57, and adding in tonight, it'll make it 58. And they cap off the season series with one more win. It's been nothing but W's, four straight. 
The one player that really stands out, of course, in this one, it was a dazzling game for the Beast. You can set a tone with defense, and that's exactly what he did with how he protected the rim. A big group substitution here for Milwaukee. Mozgov, he's checked in for Lopez. Zeller comes in for Ilyasova. J.R. Smith's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Malcolm Brogdon subbed in for Eric Bledsoe. So an almost entirely new group in now for Charlotte. Yambo, he's checked in for Williams. Kid Gilchrist comes in for Nicholas Batum. Monks checked in for Jeremy Lamb. And Tony Parker is subbed in for Kemba Walker. Here's the beast. And so it's the Hornets taking care of business in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Brent Berry, Greg Anthony, and David Ulrich, this is Kevin Harlan along with our 2K Sports crew thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Uh, Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Nice shot selection. Sure.